Now let me show you what not to do when creating lighting and shading your painting. So here I have a sphere and a ground and let's just imagine that there's a clear blue sky above us and this sphere is being hit by sunlight at around 10 or 11 o'clock. So what you should not do is select this base color go dark and create the shadow like this. Why shouldn't you do this? Well, the environment and the ground is going to have an effect on the saturation and the hue of the shadow. While here, we are just going darker and that's not how it works. And for creating lighting, what you should not do is just select this base color and go lighter and paint like this. This is also wrong because the color of the sunlight at around 10 or 11 will be a little bit yellow. So this is not the right color, neither is the right saturation for this scenario. And then we create a highlight, just do it white and create a highlight. Well, this is completely wrong because first of all there is no gradient. This is a round surface and when a light hits the round surface, it creates a gradient. That means there will be a sudden change in value and it goes from this highlight to the shadow. While here, it has a highlight and the light and then it suddenly shifts to shadow. That's not how it works. And the same thing when you're painting the ground. Don't just go like this and paint the ground a light the color. The ground will also be affected by the color of the sunlight which is a little bit yellow, not much, but just a little bit. This is not how it works. And same goes for the shadow, the cast shadow that you do. And mostly beginners don't really care about bonds like so. Yeah, this is how you should not be doing this. So now let me show you the correct way of lighting and shading. So let me first paint the ground. So this is the base color of the ground and I will go lighter, less saturation and a little towards yellow. So if this is the light value of the ground and this is the mid value of the ground which is the base color then this right here should be the shadow value of the ground. Why exactly? Well, because the mid value actually lies between the shadow value and the light value. And it's getting more saturated because of the color of the ball. Okay, so this is the cast shadow of the sphere. And it gets darker as we move under the sphere because it's difficult for the light to enter. This is called the occlusion shadow. If you remember now there is another thing that's going to happen to this shadow because this cast shadow is directly facing the sky the color of the sky is going to have an effect on the cast shadow so select the color of the shadow go towards blue and make it desaturate under the sphere it will not be affected because it is blocked by the sphere and another thing is that this part of the cast shadow will be a bit softer so let's make it a little softer okay so now let's move on to the sphere so for the sphere i'm gonna first select the base color and then go dark for the shadow from here here not too dark because i want to give enough space for the lighting and make it a little saturated and now I'm going to create a gradient right here on this part on this part of the sphere slowly now let's paint the light so for the light I will just select the base color go lighter 
a little desaturated and towards the yellow just a little bit okay don't just drag your press like this otherwise you are not really creating a gradient do it slowly and softly Okay, so now let's paint the bounce light. I'm going to select this color because of the shadow. And because there's warm light hitting a warm ground, the bounce light is also going to be warm. Okay, so now we have this bounce lighting. And just make the bottom of the sphere a little bit darker because it's above a shadow but there's not going to be a bounce light right here and the shadow on top right here is going to receive some of the sky light the blue light i'm going to select this color i'm going to desaturate a little bit Okay, so this is the sphere and there's another thing that's going to happen is that the sphere is going to bounce some light on the shadow on this harsh shadow and it will brighten it up so just let's select the bounce light right here and make it darker okay so this is how lighting works and this is how you shade your paintings and if you're painting skin there's one more thing that you need to do, which is subsurface scattering. So subsurface scattering basically is that when sunlight hits the skin, it actually enters the skin. That means our skin is not completely opaque, it is a little bit translucent. So when the sunlight hits the skin, it enters the skin from one side and then comes out of the other side, which makes the skin at that part look a little bit red. So just take this red right here, red color, and go over this area like this. Okay, so this is subsurface scattering. So this is it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.